call me a bitch that's Indio. That be yo ho. Off the with that stick like Indians. They want my soul. I'm gone. I'm bopping who's get turned up with some groupers right in my home. Why you drop that whack ass song? Pussy bitch, you should've known. My daddy said me leave it alone. But I'm like, man, fuck them niggas. Used to fuck with Gucci till I seen he liked them pussy niggas. Mama know I'm ruthless. I would love to, nigga. I don't care. You see me, my wife, you can talk to me. I'ma smoke you. You know what's going on with me. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell nobody, not even the police. I don't believe in none of that shit. The only thing I believe in is don't tell the police. Soft ass, nigga. It's the only thing I believe in. Yo, y'all know what it is and y'all know what it ain't. For now, my fault I'm late, but it's better late than never. Oh, Jesus. I see this stuff ain't going to never end, bro. And then, I, listen, this is for all you YB better stands. I just wanted to point this one thing out. How could y'all come at Lil Dirk for years for dissing the ops and supposedly claimingly leaving them in the hood of Chicago where they in the trenches? But then, and then, compliment young boy for dissing Lil Dirk, a rapper that he'll probably never see. And if he do see each other, they're going to get into it. So then this this is my message for all the fans who fans of both. Just enjoy the music. Ain't nothing wrong with a little rap beef, okay? As long as it does just stay out the streets. Y'all forget hip hop was built on rap beef. I'ma take y'all back. KRS one. Back with the Roxanne, Roxanne. Y'all remember that? That was a whole beef with over the bridge. I don't know about the New York politics, bro, but KRS one got on for dissing the girl who made Roxanne Roxanne. Everything, every Roxanne remix was a diss to the other side. That's part of rap, okay? So stop with all this slide for Vaughn and all this other goofy stuff, bro. Just just enjoy the music. But YB, he on a different type of time for he coming for India. He coming for Gucci Mane. He coming for who else? He coming for anybody who's siding with Lil Durk. And one, the thing I don't like about this far as YB, he pick and choose the people he going to disrespect and come at. Kind of like how you know he tried to act like... How can I put this? He didn't mention names for years, for a long time, until Lil Durk got hot. Not saying that he waited on Lil Durk to get hot, but he was looking for that that right artist to beef with. He picked and chose who he was going to mention their name in a song because young boy get a million views in two minutes. So if he say your name in a song, that, that his fan base going to go check you out. Regardless if they're going to troll in your comment section to do what they do, they still going to go check you out. So he picked the right person to beef with. And I was actually going to go live about this not too long ago, but I, I got to find the time that... Young boy actually throwing Lil Durk an alley oop with this right now. This is going to increase his album sales. He got an album coming out. It's going to increase the attention that's drawn to his channel because you know everybody going to be looking for a new young boy disc. And it, it all works out for the best for both sides as far as musically. But then when you get to the street aspect of this beef, young boy most definitely is trying his best to get under Lil Durk's skin. Mentioning India. Then he even shouted out Wooski. You know, FBG Wooski ain't even really a rapper. He a shooter. He a full-time shooter, part-time rapper. You get what I'm saying? And now he he was forced to go into retirement. You know, them battle wounds caught up with him. And you can honestly say Lil Durk kind of did the same thing. It's an art of war. When Fredo, not Fredo Bang, but his name going to be brought in this. When Lil Durk and Youngboy first started having tensions, you seen Lil Durk linked up with Fredo Bang. Fredo Bang, a hot artist, but that Lil Durk feature made him even hotter. Lil Durk really didn't need Fredo Bang on that song, even though it was Fredo Bang's song. My point being is Lil Durk didn't need that feature, but he reached out to Fredo or hopped on the remix because Fredo is oppositions of young boy. You get what I'm saying? If you really look at the two people who each other sides aligning themselves with, even Lil Baby. Lil Baby and Young Boy got a little beef over no cap sound with Young Boy over 4 PF. You see what I'm saying? You see how all these artists intertwine with each other? And that's what's really making Young Boy mad, I should say, because he think everybody clicking up against him, but he don't care. And Young Bo and Lil Durk actually doing the right thing. He clicking up with all these big name artists who in two with Young Boy, because now he's going to have the media on his side. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this below. I'm gone.